Aloha everybody, I'm Mark Jeffers. Welcome to Storybook Theatre and Sparky's Garden. We are a fun and educational television show that's made right here on Kauai for children and families. This year we're partnering with our friends to become the Kauai Children's Television Network. We've got a whole banquet of exciting television viewing for you and your family. So welcome to the show everybody, have a great time. Happy Earth Day, we celebrate the Earth today. Third planet from the sun, and it's the only one. I'm wishing you a happy Earth Day. Oh, the Earth gives us everything we need. Like clear flowing water, and tall green trees. Fertile soil and a place to grow crops. Beautiful rainbows and fat raindrops. But there's so many people, and so much waste. We need a reminder to take care of this place That's why it's Earth Day Oh, happy Earth Day We celebrate the Earth today Third planet from the sun And it's the only one I'm wishing you a happy Earth Day All I want to say is I love you. Rooster and the coop could fly away, but the cock-a-doodle-doo is here to stay. Cock-a-doodle-doo said the rooster, buck, buck, buck said the hen. Chee, chee, chee said the little baby chickens, nice to see you again. It's so nice to see you again. This beauty can be a beast. <gasps> what you talking about, Uncle Dave? This is a beautiful flower. Well, it's upside down, but it's a beautiful flower, and it's here in the forest. Yeah, it is, and that's why people brought it here, because it's a beautiful flower with a tasty fruit. But one problem. Uh, what's that one problem? Well, that problem is that this vine grows so thick, it just can totally cover trees like a big old blanket and choke them out so they don't get any sunlight and don't grow and eventually the native Hawaiian trees are gonna die if there's too much of this plant here. Hey, wow, so this beautiful flower gives us plenty pilakia, brother? Yeah, it sure does. It's called banana poka. Oh, banana poka. Banana poka. Well, I don't see anything that reminds me of bananas or yeah. pokas on well, it, but... Uh, uh, check this out, please. Oh, wow, us chickens would love this one. <laughs> this is the fruit. This flower is gonna turn into a fruit just like that. Oh, I see. So the flower becomes the fruit, yeah. and then the fruit becomes the... It's, it's not a banana, though. It's like a lily koi or a passion fruit. Oh, oh, cut this open. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. Oh! There it is, oh, buddy. it's beautiful. Look at all those seeds. Wow. So how much seeds is inside there? Oh, there's probably, oh, maybe a hundred, a couple hundred. Wow. And that's the problem. Uh, from every fruit, you get a couple hundred new vines. And so from one vine like this, you get thousands and thousands of new banana pokas. So the fruits hit the ground, and then the seeds grow into more vines, and the vines grow up over the next tree, and, and then and, it keeps uh, happening. You know, and the pigs happens. and animals, like chickens, like to eat the fruit, and so they spread them through the forest. Well, See? maybe I could tell my relatives not to. Well, that's not really true, because they would probably want to eat it anyway. Yeah. Ah. Well, 
But it is a beautiful and interesting plant and uh, a lot of work has gone into trying to keep it under control. And one way they do that is they found that the vine is excellent for making baskets. Oh wow, yeah, and if people come, pick the vine, they can make baskets and take them home, right? Yeah, they sure can. Oh so, yeah, I remember uh, that Maybe we'll go look for plant. a big patch of it and see if we can whip up a basket or two. Okay, Uncle. Hey, uh, what's the name of this one again? It's Banana Polka. Banana Polka. The nature note for today. Thanks, Uncle Dave. Hey, man. for the rest of the rooster crowing contest. Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Mark Jeffers and I am Russell the Rooster's right hand man. And uh, this is my cameraman, Robert Zelkowski. And we have been on the television here on Kauai for 20 years. Let's run up. I'm going to count to three and you crow with me, okay? Here we go. A one max. Two max, three max, crow. Go, go, go. All right, we got it out, ladies and gentlemen. Max, nice going. Okay, Maddie. One, two, three. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. All right. Thank you very much, Betty. Okay, can you take a deep, deep breath and give us a nice crow? Yeah, cock-a-doodle-doo, Ahana Yuki. A one, a two, a three. How's it everybody? It's your old friend Banana Polka and this is my sisters. Uh, her name is Lily and her name is Koi. Lily and Koi and I'm a Banana Polka. And this is our new friend and your name is? Malie. Malie. Yes. And are you made out of one time use plastic or two times use plastic? Oh, multiple use plastic. All right. <laughs> yeah, she uses it one more time before she had to go throw them away. Right, girls? Right, right. Or so, these earrings, you know, oh. are made out of vinegar bottles. Vinegar bottles? Yes. And oh, so my gosh. You can use them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. How many times? A gazillion. A zillion times? <laughs> wow, that's use it one more time before you throw them away. Right, Malia? Yes. So you're a person that climbs in a dumpster and goes after plastic, right? Heck yeah. And so uh, <laughs> what kind of plastic are you looking for? Yeah. I usually like plastic that can't be recycled again. Yeah, and um, what number is that? Well... We can recycle one and two. One and two can be recycled. However, black plastic and clamshell plastic can no longer be recycled on Kauai. Oh my goodness, the black plastic and the clamshell plastic, you know, can recycle those. No, even if they're ones and twos. What are we supposed to do with those anyway? You can make jewelry. Look, oh yeah. I'm making it like Oh, look at those. <laughs> hey, who's touching me back there? <laughs> Who is that? This is my friend Malia. Malia and Malie? Oh yes, my goodness. Malia helps me to get plastic too. And Malia, are you made out of one, one time use plastic or two times use plastic? No. No? <laughs> You're not plastic? I'm not plastic. 
Oh my goodness, me and the girls, we have a hard time telling who's plastic and who's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's difficult sometimes. Okay, so we bring our black plastic to you, right? You can. She does. Where do we bring them? I work at Creative Ohana in Kala Hill. Creative Ohana in Kala Hill. And Creative Ohana in Kala Hill. Yep, <laughs> we're across the fire station in Kala Hill. <laughs> and uh, what's the e website address? We are on Facebook as Creative Ohana. And Ohana. Instagram, Creative Instagram. Ohana Kauai. All right. Yeah. All right, so you guys out there, you guys get yeah. plastic. Um, bring them down to Auntie Malie, and they are going to make them into something really, really great. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. The Marine Inflatables are portable classrooms that can be set up almost anywhere and can hold up to 20 children. Captain Mark Jeffers teaches the children about mammal behavior, the ocean environment, and Hawaiian culture. To book a tour, please call the Storybook Theater of Hawaii, 808-335-0712, or send an email, director at storybook.org. Hello everybody, Hanapepe is a great historic town. I lead a walking tour every Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you, your friends, or visitors would like to have a nice, fun, interesting tour of Hanapepe, just give us a call at Storybook Theater, 335-0712. See you there. By Brick, will you help us, please? As we complete the Spark M. Matsunaga International Children's Garden for Peace, Brick by Brick. For those interested, call Storybook Theater at 335-0712 or email director at storybook.org. All right, Caroline, here we go. All one. Take a deep breath. Two. Three. Very distinguished. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Is there a flower? This is really cool. <laughs> we grow on any kind of tree. <laughs> and people, if they stay yeah. close, people, still. Yeah, if we know more trees, people will do. <laughs> hey, everybody. All I want to say is I love you. Rooster and the coop could fly away, but the cockadoodle do is here to stay. We're looking at number one, five things you can do to help stop the spread of rapid ohia. Okay, girls, point to number one. Avoid injuring ohia. A. Make sure that you're not injuring the tree, okay? All right. Num number two, don't transport ohia into island. Keep you guys' ohia on you guys' own island, okay? Okay. Number three, don't move ohia. Don't move the wood or the firewood. Keep it in its own place, okay? Number four, clean your gear and your tools when you're around Ohia. And number five, wash your vehicle. Make sure your tires is clean and everything is clean before you drive away from the forest. Okay. 
That's about it, everybody. Thank you. A one, a two, a three. Yeah! Woohoo! This is O-O-A-A. Hi, O-O-A-A. And that's Akialoa. Hi, Akialoa. Nice Can evening. you wave to Auntie Kwaku? Wave. Hey, Auntie, how's it? It's good. Great. Say, so you got an exhibit at the Banana Poco Roundup. I do. We're um, Koke Resource Conservation Program, and we focus on uh, clearing out invasive weeds in the native forest so that we can have healthy native plants growing in our forests. Yeah, that's the one, right? Know your natives, right? Okay, now, uh, Auntie Poaku, how do we know if we're looking at a native? Well, all of these plants on the table are native plants. So you know if you see these guys in the forest, they belong there. Oh, we know this one. Yeah, girls, what is this one? This Miley, is Miley. Yeah. good guess. Good Do you know what this one is? That one is the one that's the so, uki. Yeah, this is uki uki. It's a native uki. sedge. It's just starting to make flowers here, and it wow. makes these nice purple berries. Beautiful. The Hawaiians used to make dye out of the berries like right. to color things. Yeah. Right, uki uki. And what's another one? This is a lolu palm. And this takes a really long time to grow, um, and it's not regrowing a lot because we have invasive rats that eat the seeds. Yeah, so that's it doesn't right. have a chance to make more babies. If well, it comes guess who eat likes to seeds. eat rats? Who likes to eat rats? Me. This guy. Yeah, my name is Makanui, and I love to eat rats. That's good. <laughs> so I'm gonna protect my lolu palm. Good. This one here is an iliao. Liao. And it grows on the drier area, drier a little area. bit lower. It, it can grow up here, but it likes to be where it's a little bit drier and a little bit warmer. Yeah, Iliao. Right, girls? Okay, what else we get over here? This is Naupaka Kuahivi. So this is the Naupaka tree that grows in the mountains. Yeah. There's a different one that grows on the beach. Yeah. And it makes this pretty half flower, which looks like just half of a flower. The beach nalpaka makes the other half of the flower. Right. Down by the that. ocean, yeah. Yeah, that's so beautiful. We have a, a mountain nalpaka and a beach nalpaka. Great, Pohaku. And uh, anything else? Well... Who's this guy right in front? This one? Yeah. This is a mamake tree. Say it, girls. Mama, mamake tree. Mamake. Oh, almost mamake. That's almost there. <laughs> It's a fun one to say. But we heard about that plant before because it's a useful plant, right? It is a useful plant. So it grows into this nice tree and these big leaves they collect, they'll dry them out and make a tea from it. Yeah. And the tea is really healthy for you, for your uh, your cholesterol, keep your cholesterol down and your blood pressure, help your digestion, help you relax. Way better to drink than soda. Wow, Ma Pohaku, you are so smart. You're so akamai. How did you learn all this stuff? I learned all of this because I love my aina and I love to be in the forest. Wow, that's really well said. And remember, girls, what she told us in the beginning. No, no, Okay. Thank you, Auntie. Mahalo. Have fun. Aloha. So when you go picking, what is the, the rule you have to remember? You look. And you, when you gather, you ask permission first. Yes. And you you take only what you need. So, do you know how much flowers you need for one lay? Well, it all depends. Like in whatever you're making, like a haku or a, a long lay. So you kind of have your own judgment, yes? I see. Like so. we picked up today, <laughs> and I was short of flowers, so I went back and gathered more. You know. And you always say mahalo. So oh, you always say, I see. Mahalo. You always say thank you. So you picking a flower and you're talking to the flower, you say, may I pick you? Yes. And after you pick, you say mahalo. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Always, 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 always. Yeah, because they're living things, right? Flowers yes. are alive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I've learned from the past, you know, it's, if you don't ask us, say thank you. What my parents say, 
You might be picking up somebody. Aya! Yeah, so you know when you say mahalo kegi, you know you give it back, you know, and they'll live you alone. Yeah. So you're taking care, you're making sure you're showing respect. Yes. That's the main yeah. thing, right? Yeah, talk about it, talk the plan, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy, yeah. So, uh, Uncle, you realize that me and my sisters were aliens, right? And uh, you guys have named a whole festival after us. That we have, and I think it's important to recognize not only the, um, the alien nature of banana polka, but the vines uh, themselves. I can tell you that uh, I worked some years ago with the primate research facility uh, for the United States, and I was interested in when passing a banana polka through the gorilla's guts, whether or not that they would, the seeds would be viable after that uh, journey. Oh my gosh! Unfortunately, they were. That was somewhere in the us, uh, right. early 70s. You know, yeah. They're very viable, they're very prolific uh, seeds, and unfortunately they cover the canopy and uh, will uh, kill the trees, you know, kill uncle, the tree canopy. Yeah, but one thing for sure, you guys brought us here and we're having fun. I know, <laughs> I'm delighted that you are, but uh, also you may be having a little too much fun. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, but um, we don't mind sharing ourselves with you um, for making baskets because um, I know everybody having a good time and baskets are good fun, right? They certainly are and we're very happy that you're here. Wow, very nice. Let's plant a tree, let's be 
be the change that we all want to see. Help fight global warming, green up the earth. See the fun in backyard farming, roll up your sleeves. Dig in the dirt, let's plant some flowers, let's plant some trees. The birds will love that and so will the bees. Plant something healthy like veggies and fruits. How about some herbs or some edible roots? Let's plant a garden, let's plant a tree. Let's be the change that we all want to see. Good for our environment, good for me and you. There is really nothing to it, just say you can, and it's easy to do. Let's plant some natives wherever we can, like in the old days when this was their land. Plant Ili Ahi, cause there's not that much. Ma o hau hele, ohi a and such. Let's plant a garden, let's plant a tree, let's be the change that we all want to see. Take that little seedling, put it in its bed, just be sure to give it water, show it some sun, keep it well fed. Let's plant a garden, let's plant a tree. Let's be the change that we all want to see. Let's plant a garden, let's plant a tree. Let's be the change that we all want to see. Last time. Let's plant a garden, let's plant a tree. Let's be the change that we all want to see.